What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here and I'm gonna do a video I have been asked to do literally as long as my channel has been around. I don't know why it's taken me so long to do this. I even said on Tech Talk the other night that I was gonna do this video and you guys flipped out like, yes, please do this video. And that is like the ultimate how to set up speed fan guide because although it's an amazing free utility to control your fans and actually a lot of other things you can do with this utility on your system, today we're just gonna focus on fan control though. Uh, it's not the easiest to set up and in fact it can be very very difficult for most people to understand all of the gibberish that's on the screen So today that is what we are going to help you do. It's a free utility download it now The link is in the description. They didn't sponsor this video I'm just so that I don't get a ton of people going How do you download it and putting it in the description and then we'll we will do some on-screen tutorials here to show you exactly how to set this up. I've been using it for years. I don't know why it's taken me so long to actually do this video. Now before we get started with today's video, we gotta take care of a little bit of business, and that is today's sponsor is squarespace.com slash jays 2 cents If you're looking at starting a website or e-commerce site and you just don't know where to get started, then squarespace.com is perfect for you. Squarespace offers a huge range of templates that are fully customizable so that it can meet the look and demand of your product or your site, and its integrated e-commerce tools make it extremely easy to keep track of things like shipping, inventory, restocking notifications when your inventory starts to get low. Now right now, if you guys head on over to squarespace.com slash jays 2 cents and use offer code jays, that's J-A-Y-Z, you get 10% off your order. And not only that, if you sign up for a year with Squarespace, you get a domain absolutely free. So head on over to squarespace.com slash jays 2 cents and use offer code jays now, or after the video. Or just pause the video, go and come back, that'll work too. All right, so here's the program right here. If you guys don't know where to get it, again, just look in the description of this video, and I put a link a link there so you guys can download it. It's completely free. Uh, I don't want to be bombarded with a bunch of people going, where do you get the program? Um, Google, Google's your friend too. But anyway, it's called SpeedFan, S-P-E-E-D-F-A-N. -E 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 it's hard to say, E-E, E-E, E-E. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I've got a camera down here so pointing at my fans that we're going to use for example so that you at least can see it working. If I was just showing you how to click a bunch of buttons and you didn't see the effect of it, then that would be a really shitty tutorial. And I don't want the tutorial to be any shittier than it's already going to be because I'm the one making it. But anyway, let's go ahead and open up SpeedFan here. Yes, Windows, I want to open it. That's why I clicked it. Stupid. Anyway, here it is right here. What it's doing right now is it is scanning all of the different buses on your motherboard. It's learning where everything is. That way it knows how to control itself. Now the problem is, once this is done, you see all this information, right? You see your CPU usage, you see all your threads, you see fans right here. Normally you'll see RPMs. I don't have RPMs showing on mine because I'm using a splitter or splitters and it just, yeah, anyway, it messes up that. You can see all your temperatures here for your GPUs and you can see your motherboard temps and CPU and all that stuff. And then you can see you have your different PWMs. And what tends to happen right here and people go, oh, this software sucks is they start trying to control their fans going, but nothing's happening. Ah, the software sucks. This is this is stupid. But guys, what you have to do with speed fans, you have to configure it. Now this program is made by you know it's completely free. It's all made by uh, I think it's one guy who just does this as, as a hobby. It's not like getting a ton of support. Meaning he's not going to go and pre-configure this so that it sets up for every single motherboard on the market. That's impossible to do. So you have to actually use the scanner up here to try and learn where everything is on your motherboard. So as you can see right here, I set PWM to zero. And as you can see by looking at the camera down here, my fans are still going full speed, nothing has changed. So what you're gonna do next, you're gonna hit configure. That's gonna bring up this guy right here and let's make it so you can actually see this, I guess. And then you're gonna go over here to advanced. Now real quick, there's a lot of things we can do on here. There's, there's lots and lots of function built into SpeedFan, but today we are focusing only on fan control because if you can't get the fan control to work, then you might not be interested in what the rest of the software can do. So right now, yes, fan control is all that we are going to do. Now if you click on advanced right here, you get this drop down here and it shows you all of the buses here on your chip. So you can see we've got our three video cards and we've got this one right here. This dollar sign A40 on ISA, that's actually going to be where our PWMs are. Here they are. PWM 1, 2, and 3. And you can see the modes are set to on off. Now the only one I'm going to worry about right now is PWM mode 1. That's the header I've got my fans plugged into for my GPU loop. And that's what we're going to use as our demonstration today. 
But as you can see, by having it set to on off, it's literally just that. The fans are either on full speed or off. And the motherboard is what actually set that when the motherboard booted up. So all this did was scan what was going on with the PWM, what did the motherboard have pre-configured, and then SpeedFan will match that setting rather than trying to take over. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look at the drop down here for set 2. And you can see we've got on off, software controlled, on off, smart guardian. Now you might see some different things in your motherboard. Again, this is not going to be exact for your motherboard. There are going to be a lot of different variations. Every single motherboard BIOS is set up different. So you're going to have to play around with this. But what I'm trying to do with today's video is just more or less give you the direction of where to go to start learning how to use this software. Now, I don't know why on off is listed twice. I truly don't. Smart Guardian, when I set that, again, nothing happens on my motherboard. But on your motherboard, they might slow down suddenly. Because you see how right here on its own, when I click Smart Guardian, that went down to 27%. That's where the fans should theoretically be spinning at. But as you can see right here, they are still running full speed, like absolutely full speed. Nothing changed, they're noisy, absolutely atrocious. So we're gonna go back to configure, go back to advanced, go back to that chip, and we're gonna change the setting again. So now yours might say manual, yours might say temperature, offset, It might you might see a bunch of different things here than what I see. So again, you're gonna have to play with it. Manual will more than likely be what you would expect it to be, manual. But there should be a setting there called software controlled. And what that means is, let speed fan control the fans. It's basically saying override the PWM bus and let my software, speed fan, control the fans. So when I click that, watch what's gonna happen. Oh, dang, you see that? Look at the fans. See, they're slowing down. Oh my gosh. They're like super quiet now. And they slowed all the way down to 27% because as you can see, that's by default where the PWM went to. Now, once you figure out which one it is and which one works, click this button here that says, remember it. If you don't, every time you open the software, this is going to revert back to wherever the motherboard sets it to. So hit okay, check it out. We now have fan control. I literally just turned my fans off. Cool, isn't it? Now I could speed that all, all the way up to 100 if I wanted. Bam, look at that, now they're going back to 100%. I could also set that to 50%, whatever. I could set it to 48 if I want, because 50 is just for noobs. All right, Jay, that's all fine and dandy, but I what if I want my fans to speed up when things get hot and slow down or even straight up turn off when things are not needed, when it comes to, uh, you know, things are running nice and cool. What if we don't need all that, uh, those, those fans spinning where we're not under load? Well, sir or madam or child, I'm glad you asked, because if you go back into configure, you have fan control. Now you've got advanced fan control. You're going to want to click that. By default, it's not going to be clicked. Now you're going to add a fan controller. So we're going to add, let's name this, let's name this GPU control. All right, it's GPU fan control. We'll call it that. Okay, cool. We've done that. Now what? Nothing happened. No, I mean, nothing's happening. So what do we do? Well, you're going to go back into your fan control. You're going to click on that. And as you can see, you now get a drop down here with a bunch of stuff. So we're going to click, click controlled speed because we want to control it. We want to set up PWM one because that's the one I have. My, this is the header that controls that fan and are these fans right down here. And you're going to have to kind of label these yourself. Try and figure out PWM one is PWM one on my motherboard is actually um, system fan one not CPU fan or any of that. Believe it or not, my motherboard won't allow me to control CPU fan via uh, speed fan. So you're gonna have to play around with that. That's why I'm not using the CPU headers at all on this motherboard. So anyway, we're gonna control PWM1. Now on the method, I always use sum of speeds instead of max of speeds. Now on temperatures, you have to now tell speed fan, what do you want to control the, the speed? What temperature probe are you going to use to control the speeds? So you can hit add. Then you get this little pop-up here, which shows you all of the different temperatures that are located inside of your system. So these are all the temperature probes. We've got our three GPUs. We've got temp one, two, and three. These are actually going to be my chipset and VRM. We've got our hard drive temperatures, because believe it or not, your hard drives and your SSDs actually have temperature probes in them. And then you have got all of your different cores right here. Now I'm gonna use GPU 
one, which is the top one listed here, to control the fans that you see here on this camera because this is my main GPU radiator. So I'm gonna hit okay. So when you click this right here, this is your fan curve. Okay, you can see we've got a range of 30C to 60C. So that says 30C or below will run a minimum of whatever this dot is set to. And then this says right here at 60C, it will be 100%. So anything above 60C will ramp these fans up to 100. Now you can pull this in by clicking the left arrow. arrow. So as you can see, arrow, I don't know what an arrow is. But anyway, as I click that left, you can see now our range is going to be, come on, there we go. Now our range is between 30 and 50. And because I have water-cooled GPUs, I'm going to set these this to maybe 55. And I'm going to set the lower number here much lower so that we don't have the fan speeding up. Because again, water-cooled. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying there. So this is what our curve looks like right there. Okay, we'll hit OK. Again, nothing happened. What the heck? It's still at zero. Well, that's because you have to click automatic fan speed. Now watch how it happens when I click this. Bam, that jumped up to 22. The fans didn't actually kick on. You can see they're kind of trying, but that's only because I've got four fans actually. Actually, I technically have eight fans hooked up to that particular circuit. So we need to make our lower, uh, we need to make our start speed just a little bit higher. So we'll do that. We'll hit okay. Ah, there they go. So now at 30% is uh, where we are idling now. And as we start up things like heaven benchmark and whatnot, it's going to ramp up and slow down. Now there's one other thing we actually have to configure here, and that's because SpeedFan has a safeguard that says if temperatures reach a certain warning level, then just max out the fan. Just ramp the fans up as fast as they'll freaking go because we're trying to save our shit and we don't want it to blow up. And that's going to be right here where it says GPU, GPU, and GPU. And if that's what we're using to control our fans, you need to set the warning. Right here, the warning is set to 70C. And I have it basically, two things are gonna happen. If our temperature on the graphics cards, and you have to set these individually, reach 70C, a pop-up is gonna come up at the bottom of the screen and say, warning, GPU has exceeded 70C or whatever that setting is. And then it's going to ramp the fans to 100% uh, to control, you know, the, to try and cool itself down. Now watch what happens if I set this to say 20C. Absolutely nothing. Ah, there it goes. We've got a little flame showing right here because we're at 30C, so we're above the threshold of where I set it. Do you see how the fans ramped up to 100? Yeah, it's, it thinks right now that it's overheating. And the little pop-up came up, it just came up on my other screen. So I'm gonna set this back to 70. Okay, now watch. That little thing went away and we went back down to 31C. So you can set where your warning temperatures are so that you can keep an eye on things. You can even make a little audio thing happen um, you know, a little beeping and stuff to get, that's really loud and obnoxious to kind of get your attention like, hey, your shit's running really hot. But anyway, guys, that's really all there is to it when it comes to speed fan. There's a lot of other things you can do with this. Again, I kept this very specific to speed fan or the fan speed control because as you can see, this video is still pushing 15 minutes or, or more just showing you how to control that. But I hope that that has helped you guys here. Oh, and check this out. If I have automatic fan speed selected and I try and manually slow that down, Bing, it goes right back to 31. So you can't uh, you can't accidentally change that. You're just gonna let it control itself. Yep, there you go. So yeah, that's how I that's how I control my fans. So many people ask me how I control my fans. This is how I do it. This is how I've always done it, and um, yeah, it works out great for me. So I got these fans set to run really whisper quiet, 30 percent or 31 percent when I'm not gaming, and when I'm gaming, everything will then ramp up pretty quickly. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and tutorial. If you want me to cover more topics in the future regarding software, um, you know, settings and controls, let me know. I'm gonna do some overclocking stuff coming up for 1080, showing you how to do um, overclocking on that because it's actually a little different on the Pascal cards and we'll talk about that uh, very, very soon. And uh, I, I need you guys to kind of help me dis decide what it is you want to see. So anyway, time to get out of here. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be probably tomorrow. Yeah, I've said too much. <laughs>